you know, it's interesting, like, you would think um, that I would have, and again, maybe I just haven't been exposed to it, because you kind of, but there aren't that many Cuban influences, it's not sort of what you get in school either, and again, in some ways, um, what I've been writing about is sort of a very American experience, and in some ways, the tradition of literature that I cling to is the American, because that's what I grew up in. Um, but I'm, that's not to say that there can't be. Um, uh, I just think it would, I think sort of the concerns and what grows, the literature that has grown out of Cuban and other Latin American poets, not that they aren't, of course, universal stuff that ties across culture and nations and all the rest. But um, my concerns and, and the stuff that I've been looking for are are more found sort of in the question of what is America and what does America mean in some ways um, because it's what I've, was, what I've lived and what I'm living. And so um, while there are questions of identity and nationality and Cuban authors, it's not something that I've totally connected with. Not that I think it'll be in the future, but also the language, of course, is also another consideration. So I was educated in English. I think in English. I feel in Spanish. I have sex in Spanish, <laughs> but I think in English. And so, uh, yeah, like one can say that the, the, my concerns as a little kid growing up in Westchester, even though it's all about Cuban, Cubanidad, and Americanness, in some ways have nothing to do with, 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 with the concerns of a Cuban poet in Cuba, in the sense of that, you know, we're not. Cubans are not concerned about being Cuban. <laughs> it's like I was like, I can't wait to move to Cuba so I don't have to be Cuban anymore. You know? So it's not a question like, oh my God, am I Cuban or am I not Cuban? People in Cuba aren't going around asking that. <laughs> am I American or am I not American? So these are uniquely sort of American, uh, not uniquely American questions, but questions that, that happen to me in America. And so to reach into into that other tradition not that certainly it's not beautiful and inspiring and all the rest from a craft point of view from from you know Gabriel Garcia Marquez I mean the guy's an alien I mean who came up with this stuff you know but not necessarily psychologically is not always the, the same fit well, for me you have a lot of commonality with a, the poets that I'm most familiar with because I know them from Provincetown from the Cape so like Stanley Kunitz and Alan Dugan and Mark Strand and Robert Pinsky, uh, who all have that that crispness that I find in you, and and uh, and uh, you know when you were saying before you don't um, um, when when people say aren't you influenced by by uh, Hispanic. Uh, writers, I, I, I see you from a from a different direction. As almost not an Anglo writer necessarily, bit, not, not that there is an Anglo writer, but more coming from from that perspective than from a Hispanic perspective. You, you, you're kind of I, I wouldn't say you're outside looking in. I mean, you, you straddle both worlds. That's what I was getting at before, where you seem to be uh, to be able to be comfortable in, in, in all well, the worlds you're. I'm sort of inside looking in. I think that's that that's the perspective of taking a deeper look at where I am already. Um, and you know, in some ways, the questions that I, I I trace my sort of line of questioning to Whitman in a way, um, because he was asking what is America and exploring as we are today, still what does that mean? And do I belong to that narrative? And who belongs to that narrative? And and what narrative am I constructing? And who gets to be in that in my work? Um, so yeah, it's an irony. I always say, you know, if I would have, if my parents would have gone to Japan and lived in Japan, I wouldn't be called a Japanese Cuban poet. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's not that you know. There isn't that this is in some ways America is still an experiment, and so the question of what that experiment looks like or will look like is still in a, still affects us psychologically in many many levels and many many across race, class, and gender, and all the rest. Yeah, the whole hyphenated thing really didn't come to the fore. It feels like to me until the '60s when people became so uh, politically correct uh, to 
more of an extent because I, I don't remember, um, well, like one of my best friends growing up was Cuban American, but I don't remember that, that term even being applied to him. Uh, I, mean, I don't remember him being labeled anything. Right. And it, uh, it, you know, his parents were from Cuba and he was first generation. And it, but I grew up in Cincinnati, so maybe that's a, a, a very different experience. No, I think uh, the word gay didn't really exist. Right. Um, you know, uh, uh, right. And so uh, the issue of language and how we name things or don't name things is an interesting phenomenon and a process that it goes through. Um, I, for example, I think the age of the hyphen is over with. Um, uh, not not because we've all become American or all become Cuban or all become this or all become that, but because you're going to have to have like a five pronged um, hyphen soon, uh, you know, uh, Polish, Cuban, American, Croatian, um, you know, because the world is connected not just biologically any anymore, but just in terms of of communications and mobility. And so, it, it, you know, we're it's becoming so interconnected. And and I think what what I'm starting to see in something that probably is a hundred years cycle here of something, but I'm starting the idea of nation as of, of a, as a concept or is sort of decaying um, in a good way. Uh, this idea that there's a there's a country with borders and an army and protecting resources is kind of a very sort of nineteenth century idea, <laughs> and you know even the ways that we conduct war warfare now there's no such what is a war what is an end what does it begin is it about territory is it about information right um and we control things through information not necessarily through physical control of anything anyway besides all that just this idea of um how many kids I've met at FIU and stuff that have like eight different ethnicities in there and, and, uh, and uh, you know, or from different and suddenly experiencing a culture uh, here in Miami of Latino, pan-Latino sort of culture that's totally ingrained, different and that didn't happen 70 years ago. Someone from India didn't go to study in Miami. <laughs> I mean, some did. I'm not saying it was impossibility, but that mobility and most of us, you know, in the last century, for the better half of the last century, most people were born, lived, lived and died 50 miles from where they were born. Um, so the exponential, the way technology has exponentially um, connected and complicated that, um, you know, I'm not sure that, that those, I'm not sure that we can, you know, even think of ourselves in those neat sort of boundaries anymore or cultural gender or, or sexuality i mean we've even seen that in terms of transgender and all this stuff and that we've seen that all these 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 narratives are falling apart and it's really interesting is it, it, it in some ways there is this there's this fracturing of narrative all across that's affecting us um it's a great time to be in this country I yeah I mean, even our wars don't have any narratives anymore. You know, there isn't like this, we went to Europe, we won, we came back. <laughs> That's where, you know, narrative in music. And there, there's no sort of overwhelming narrative that's saying um, anything, not, not even in the arts, right? Like there's no sort of, in poetry at least, there's no this predominant movement of you should be writing this way or that way or this school or that school. I haven't heard any kind of term or school that I need to belong to in all my writing career in, in some ways, other than maybe narrative poet, but even that's sort of so vague. So I think what we're seeing is a, is a in some ways, 